Here is a tutorial on how to make an art doll the easy way. It's for beginners and you don't need to know how to sculpt the face. In fact, this tutorial doesn't require any sculpting at all. This is a variation on a method that I learned from taking art doll workshops at Makerspace 125, which is a STEM technology center that's located in Greenbelt, Maryland. All of the required supplies can be easily purchased at your favorite arts and crafts supply store. You'll need a wooden clothespin with a rounded top, a flat wooden base, and pipe cleaners for the arms. For the hair, you can use pom-poms or ribbons or plastic flowers or yarn or any other kind of material that you think would be appropriate for a doll's hair. For the outfit, you can use felt, fabric scraps, ribbons, doilies, or anything else you think would be appropriate. After all, it's your art doll. For the face, I highly recommend a flexible silicone push mold that has people's faces on them. You can find these molds in the same aisle where polymer clay brands like Sculpey, Fimo, and Cernit are located. As for the material used to make the face, you can either use polymer clay like Sculpey, Fimo, or Cernit, or you can use paper clay, or air dry clay, or paper mache, or even Crayola Model Magic. You can also use beads and ribbons for any embellishments you like to put on your art doll. Most important, you'll need a hot glue gun. If there are children under 12 who will be making their, their own art dolls, I strongly recommend adult supervision. First, take the clay or similar media of your choice and press it in the face mold. When choosing a face, don't worry about such things as scale or proportion. Unlike making a traditional doll, having the proper scale or proportion is less important in making an art doll since these types of dolls are the doll world's equivalent of such art styles as Impressionism, Abstract Art, and Modern Art. Follow your manufacturer's instructions on how to cure or dry the clay. While your face is being dried, take the wooden clothespin and using your hot glue gun, attach the clothespin to the flat wooden base. Take a pipe cleaner and cut it until you reach the desired length. Wrap the pipe cleaner near the top of the wooden clothespin. Now you have two arms for your art doll. Once the doll's face is dried and hard, you have the option of keeping the face as is, or you can embellish it. I'm using acrylic paint in this video for the face, but you can also use ink, magic marker, or even watercolor pencil. Basically, just embellish the face until you're personally happy with it. After all, it's your art doll. While your face is drying, Take your felt or fabric scrap or similar material and place it against the doll's body. Basically, you'll be cutting a rough T-shape that's slightly wider than the body. Once you're finished cutting one T-shape, you'll need to cut a second T-shape for the back of the doll. Take your hot glue gun and glue one of the T-shapes around the neck with a small dab of glue. You need the dab to hold the outfit in place. Take the other T-shape and glue it to the first T-shape until you have an outfit. Trim the outfit around the edges if you feel that is necessary. For the hands, you have a lot of options. For this particular art doll, I chose to use polymer clay and a silicone push mold to make two human hands for my doll. However, it's not required. You can glue two beads to the arm ends to represent hands or two plastic flowers. You could even opt to leave the arm ends as they are. After all, it's your art doll. Attach the face to the top of the clothespin with your hot glue gun. For the hair, I chose to use a pom-pom that I dabbed in a mixture of acrylic paint and water ahead of time. However, you can use other materials for doll hair like ribbons, yarn, felt, embroidery thread, cord, and cotton balls. After all, it's your art doll. The basic art doll construction is finished. You can leave the doll as is, or you can add more embellishments, such as adding a large bead to, or a plastic flower to the doll's head to suggest a hat. Or you can use beads, charms, ribbons, glitter stickers, or paint to embellish the doll. Just keep going until you are personally happy with the result, because when it comes to art dolls, 
The only person you need to please is yourself. Once you finish your art doll, you can display it on a shelf or show off to friends. You can even make a short stop motion animation with it.